greatest of sin is death. Sin brings the terror of God into us. We cannot handle sin by ourselves. We cannot overcome sin by ourselves. So, the Lord is calling us. We need to go to him. We need to go and cry to him. The Bible says, the book of Proverbs 28 verse 13. No one prospers by covering up one sin. But if you acknowledge your sin and if you repent for your sin and if you give away the roots of your sin, who are the people who lead you to sin? What are the circumstances in which you are led to sin? Cut them off from your life. If you have the guts, if you have the love for God, let God's love rule your heart. Becoming one with the Spirit, having relationship with the Spirit, become the focus of your life. We cannot conquer our weakness by ourselves. We cannot overcome sin by ourselves. We can conquer it by only one way. If we live by our flesh, we die. But if we give ourselves to the Spirit and build up our focus, our intimacy with our God, our intimacy with our God is our strength. Our intimacy with our God is the way for our life. It is there we get light for darkness. It is there we find strength for weakness. It is there my mess, the, what I have made mess of my life turns into a message. My trials turn into triumph. I become a test. The test becomes testimony. Yes, I was a sinner. Yes, I lost everything. But I realized though I am a sinner, I have a savior. And when I returned to him, I found my sins are washed away. When I returned to him, in him, once again I start to live. Placing your hands over your heart. Realizing the effect of sin. Ask the Lord to forgive you, to cleanse you, and to take you back to life. Jesus calls us all, lifting up our hands, surrender to him. He's stretching out his hands on the cross. His blood is for you and me. The blood has the power to wipe away my sin. He didn't, he knew very well, I can't become righteous by myself. Because if I live in sin, I live in sin, the enemy will rule my life. The enemy will destroy all that I have given to my child. So, he died on the cross and shed the blood. Can you look at him? He is hanging on the cross. Nobody could see his face. He was scorched. Nobody could recognize him because of his love for you and me. Let this love fill you. Moses cried, Lord, if you may know all my sin in front of others, they would have stoned me to death. Like a mother, you hid all my sin, Lord. Yes, he is calling you. He is calling you. Whatever may be your past, even if it is horrible one, 
you cannot leave my child with that return to me come to me jesus calls us all stretching out his arms to heal all our wounds yes he is hanging he is crying given on the cross he doesn't want to even leave a single soul a thief a murderer a rapist he is saying lord remember me the lord says today you will be with me in paradise he is crying father forgive all the sins of my children he is crying i thirst thirst for you and me he remembered this day and he cried his tears he says i can't afford to see you my child dying i can't afford to see you losing the things which i have given to you let me die that you may live i died for you he is calling you those who wish they can kneel down others can sit down stretching out their hands surrender to him go back to him returning to the lord means five things when the prodigal son when he lost everything of the father he was thrown to the pits in that moment re- returning back to god repentance means five things number 1 the bible says luke's gospel chapter 15 verse 17 he came to his senses who am i who is my father why these things have happened in my life with all this kind of thoughts i have thrown away my life for nothing what has happened to me where have i landed up my life and what do my sin do to me and to my family to my life to my generation is it needed the boy came to his sense when there are so many servants of my father have plenty to eat i am dying here with the pigs is it needed for me no i don't want this kind of dirty life he came to his sense he came to the reality he came to the truth jesus said in john 8:32 the truth will set you free John 8:36 If you come to the sun if the sun delivers you you are delivered indeed Yes First John chapter 5 verse 12 says He who has the sun has the life He who doesn't have the sun doesn't have the life Come to your sense This is the first stage of repentance what has happened to my life what do sin do to my life with the sin where am i landing up where am i dragging my life and my children and my family is it needed number 2 that boy got up from that dirty place today from where i should get up from what i should get up from what habits i should get up from what way of talking i should get up from what kind of habits i should get up from what kind of relationship i should get up ask the lord he will help you and tell him lord i am getting up from this i don't want i am getting away from this kind of relationship i am getting away from this kind of talking third the boy after getting up he fixed his eyes on the father because his thoughts were filled with the father if i am a, maybe a worst sinner but i have a loving father who never rejects me he is waiting for me maybe i am a worst sinner but i don't know i know the truth i am not an orphan 
I am not just thrown away for destruction. I am not created for failure. I am not created for debt problem. I have a father. I have a savior. I have a redeemer. I will go to him. Fill your minds with the truth. Daddy, you are my father. Daddy, you are my God. I never lived this love, daddy. I took you for granted, daddy. I'm sorry. The greatest sin is not taking God for seriousness. Second Chronicle says, chapter 12, King Jeroboam lost his life and led by evil because he did not set his mind on God. When you don't set your mind as that you tune, set a particular band for radio, you have to set your mind. If I live, I live with my God who has loved me and gave his life for me. And I don't want any other life. If I live, all I, my life is, my focus is to please my God who has loved me and gave his life for me. I don't want to hurt him. Even if it is gold or anything comes on my way from now on, my focus of life is I don't want to hurt my Lord, my Savior. Focus. Set your mind on what do you want to do with your life. What is your life from now on? Set your mind. The boy set his mind on the father and started to run. This is the time Satan will try with fears when you say no to evil. He will come. Many people told him, Hello boy, where are you running? Stop. Come on, we can play the game once again. Come, we can drink once again. He said, get lost. You have to be violent to move with the Lord. You have to be violent in your prayer. You have to hit your body. Discipline your body to move in relationship with God. As St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 9, 27, I hit to my body, discipline my body, that having after preached to others, let me not become a victim to the enemy. So, with violently, I train my body. Violently, I hit to my body to focus on the love of my God. Yes. He focused on God. He trained his mind. And he went to the Father. Fifth. He cried to the Father. I am sorry. He confessed one after another. Without hiding. From the, his childhood onwards. What are the things. That separated him from God. And the Father, with great mercy, forgave him. Gave him a new life. He's calling you. 